third. We still have Hurricane Gabrielle major category three storm with its sights set on the Azores Islands. In fact, a hurricane warning in effect for the Azores right now. But what we're more concerned about now, not here in the Bay Area, I want to make that very clear. This is not going to impact us here in the Bay Area. But if you have family, friends along the Atlantic coast, really anywhere from Orlando all the way up to Virginia, this is definitely a storm to pay attention to. And if you have travel plans to the Bahamas this weekend, you also want to listen up. Two different invests. We have invest 94 and 93L, both with a high chance of development over the next seven days. I'm going to take you through a model comparison here. The GFS is in yellow. The euro is in green. And as these continue to move forward, this is on Saturday, potentially a tropical storm with Invest 93L. That's definitely the stronger one, the one further from the Bahamas. Next name storm, by the way, Umberto. Invest 94L here. This is on Sunday, moving right over the Bahamas. Turks and Caicos, potentially a tropical depression or storm at this point. But you'll notice the GFS really nowhere to be found. It looks like the GFS almost gets caught up in the circulation of Invest 93. That's the Fujiwara effect, everyone, and that could potentially just essentially dissolve into the stronger storm. But notice the European model still wants to bring potentially what could be a tropical storm very close to the Atlantic coastline, somewhere near Georgia or the Carolinas going into Monday night. So again, not going to impact us here at home, but this could cause very high rip currents and surf along the Atlantic coastline, very heavy rain along the coastal Carolinas. The stronger storm, which is Invest 93, all models have been very consistent with that. That stays off the coast with its sights more set on Bermuda and then potentially that storm can get carried out to sea as it gets very close to the Atlantic coastline. A lot to still fine tune here. We are about five days out or so, so we're starting to get some finer details, but there's still a little bit to figure out. Here's what we know right now. Invest 93L likely to stay offshore. That's the stronger one. Invest 94L could near the Atlantic coastline end of the weekend into the start of next week. Regardless, looks like high waves of rip current risk next week along the Atlantic coast. The fine details still need work, but again, no impact here.